Well, welcome to another episode of Vice Grip Garage. This is the completely forgot that you won a car on the interwebs about five, six months ago until the wife calls you at work and says the semi just body slammed a car into the driveway with flat tires that doesn't run. Perfect. More junk. I'm not really sure what the plan is because I essentially never have one of those. But I need to do the minimal amount of effort just to get this thing down to the shop and push into the trees because I have no plans for it or parts or anything. I literally forgot that I have this. So I just need the height on it for a little bit. I am curious, get your little pocket computer machines out and let me know if you think this is an actual Mopar because we know the history there um, are they grandfathered in or are they not? I need to know if I park this baby next to a CUDA. Is he going to want to strangle me with the spark plug wire or am I safe? We'll go on a $2 tour here and then I got to see if I can get this thing running or what the deal is. It's been painted. Looks like it was tan or whatever color that is at one point. This is a Super and I think that went deluxe, then a Super. Then a custom, so this would be the middle of the road guy. And 60 was a pretty cool year, different taillights. They changed the dash around a little bit. Oh boy, she's had some really good body work had. Bondo work is just, that's factory. Oh, there's more over here. Yeah, that looks really good. You can go ahead and leave on that. It's a good eighth inch thick. And tires are really rotted. That one's down. Not sure if it's leaking something or if that's from the rain. We'll figure that out later. Oh boy. Oh, this one's got a very musty grandma's closet, wet towel, kind of dirt smell. Oh. Um, if you guys need a Hemmings, let me know. Oh boy, I see something I gotta go look at. All right, I saw something over here that guys gotta get in. Oh yeah, Northern Plains. I'm gonna go ahead and wear on that for a little bit. We got some sparkulators. Technical service manual door foam. These are handy. Put some bolts in that. And some other miscellaneous stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hubcaps. I think I'm only missing on one. Oh, look at this. That's, that's factory. You know, a guy's never been able to say this before in his life, but this unit came with two sets of keys. I just got to figure out how to use on them. There's three of them. Oh. Oh, hey, we got stuff. I can get at least 30,000 out of that tire still. And, uh, looks like some transmission stuff. Mm, great. That looks water pumpish. So, we had another car that overheats. And it smells like gasoline violently. So that's another good sign. And at least she wasn't parked under a tree rotting, because that wouldn't be good. I'm sure it looks fine under that. But the dashes are pretty cool in these Ramblers. Look at this thing. Yeah. And if you're on Craigslist, this has got 6,000 miles original. Well, these bad boys came with the old Econo 6 or the Rebel V8. And of course we get the Econo 6. Well, they get good fuel mileage, that's the plus, but the old girls would only put out about 120, 125 horse. 
Them Rebel V8s though, them, they go vroom. And yeah, this, uh, more junk, great. Where's my extension cord? Well, go ahead and snip the battery charger on it. Whoa, good thing I just looked. Red is not red. Uh, they did the old, let's buy the cheapest cable and make it a ground option. And go ahead, get my, there we go, get this fired up. I suppose I should even see if it turns over by hand. Um, oh yeah. Well, that's good news. It's got a newish looking fuel pump on her. I suppose I better get your eyes in here a little better. Yeah, she closed one eye and squint. Looks pretty good. And, oh, it's even got coolant in it. I suppose we could check the oil. See if that's got anything in it. Oh, she's full with nice black sludge. I like the handles on these. Guys can really get some. Still got a little dainty stick on them. Well, I suppose we better turn on it. See if it cranks. Oh no. This is why I don't have keys is because I always lose them. Well, let's go ahead and crank on this old girl. And Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another car with no brakes. I'm getting pretty good at that. At least the flat tire is holding us still. Uh, let's go with 13 and a half pumps. Immediately fired. Kind of ish running. We might have a runner. Easy as that. Oh, you can tell the card bowl isn't full. She's been sitting. There we go. He's got a rev on him. Well, got some lawnmower gas here from the 90s. We'll pour that in. I'll be dipped. That even worked. I have no idea what's in it, but I'm guessing that this is probably about 26.4% better. So I'll snag some of this in and, ooh, we should sea foam it too. I got some barium in somewhere. We'll dump that down the throat and clean it out. Wow, it's got some really disgusting valve train noise. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Great! I really like this Berryman B12. It's just like sea foam, but it's half the price. You just gotta let them eat. Clean up the valves a little bit, buy some chambers. It's also cheaper than putting spark plugs in. Just let them eat on this for a little bit. Oh, she idles like new. Well, the guy's been digging around a little bit more and I did find a master cylinder in the back, which means I think this one was swapped. He just never bled it correctly. And then I did find that older fuel pump. And I also found, I just dropped it, the oil change card from uh, 2008 that had the correct mileage. So car's been sitting about eight years. We're gonna throw some brake oil in it, see if we can get about a smidge of brakes, just enough, and then we're gonna go drive it. Oh my goodness. We're looking for a Ford Dodge or trailer spare. I'm limited on the old top shelf tires here at the house, but we'll see what we can dig up out of here. Gotta be some, that trailer spare will fit for sure, but I'd like to get a 15. Hey, there's my turbo 400. Um, I think these are to a Dodge, but that should snag right on. We'll see if one of these has got some air. Well, the first step in safety is you got to throw an anti-roller 6000 under here before you jack on them. Ah, something like that. 
I don't know what that is, but it'll work. Let me just jack on it, get it up, get it up in the air. Well, I just found my new favorite guy to drink beer with. This here looks like the side of a grain bin. Just up here for the old skid plate anti cover up the rust. And we've got the old Derrick rubber fuel line. And just let her hang back there. You don't need to do anything with that. And then of course, uh, let's get some zip ties on there as well. So this guy clearly was AC3 certified. Pulled this Dodge tire out and it's got about six pounds in it. So that should be good enough. And we'll get this one off and see what we got behind it. Big old 40 inch Brembo brakes. Well, we're gonna go ahead and bleed on this one since I'm in here anyway. Ouch. Oh. Go ahead, bud. I hope this isn't rusted shut. Well, at least we'll have one brake. That's good enough. This wheel here is actually off that 52 Dodge. And maybe she'll snip on here. Oh, look at that. It's even factory color. Yeah, this ain't gonna work actually. Uh, grinding on the old tie rod end and the tire is hitting the uh, tower here pretty severely. Great, grand. I'll be darned if she ain't hitting that wheel too. Well, while Bailey's running the Mice Sucker 500, I went ahead and dug in the trunk and got the good tire. That's all I got that's gonna fit. Don't have anything else at the house here. And this is dangerous enough to get around the block a time or 12. But I'm feeling pretty good now that I know I got one break. Well, I was just getting ready to come out and test on it and heard a bang and there she went. So I'm kind of out of tire options. I'm not really sure what to do and she's raining pretty good and it's Sunday so everything's closed. Well, two hours later we're back to where we were except I'm sickened to my hip bone. I had to buy a new tire. Ooh, quarter inch wrench. Well, since I know nothing about this car, let's go drive on it. Brakes test, nothing. Oh wait, we're getting something. Oh, I got left front for days. Blinker, but I guess that was the old passenger eject button. Second gear grabs. We got third. Shoot. I'm driving this to work tomorrow. Dang old Speedo even works in here. Got no radio. Got no wipers. Let's try the Seaguar. Guys even got headlights. I was nervous it wasn't going to fire on me. So I really soaked down the ignition like you're not supposed to do. Got tails even. If only she stayed that shiny, huh? Oh, boy that's sticky. I don't quite know what that is on the steering wheel, but it definitely isn't. Section. Man, no blood bumper about came out of my chest. Nothing to see, just headed to bingo. Well, 
She shined up pretty good. Don't look so bad. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I'm just gonna stick her in the trees behind the shop for now. Might just flip it, but if you want me to keep it, let me know. Put it in the comments. And if I do keep it, you gotta let me know what you wanna see. I don't know, maybe a turbo sticking through the hood or something. Also, a couple other favors. I need a name for the old girl. So if you got something real classy, bleep bloop that down there. And last but not least, if you're not subscribed, please do that. It really helps the feller out and I really appreciate it. Till next time, keep her greasy side down. Ah, dang it. Oh.